guys, it's Erin, and today I'm going to be answering your burning question. Because I know you've all been asking, Erin, what are your July favorites? I don't know. Let's find out. Just kidding. I know, because I'm Erin, so they're my favorites, so... You know. I'm going to be basic for like 0.5 seconds here. The month of July has gone by way too fast. It's actually insane. More than half the summer's over. I'm going to cry, like... Oh my god. But with the end of a month means favorites videos. So let's just talk about things I've been loving. This is the Friedman's Feeling Beautiful Facial Clay Mask with Avocado and Oatmeal. And so I bought this at CVS for like $4. So it's really inexpensive. And for that, that price, it does amazing things. So I use it about every other week or sometimes I use it twice like in a row. Um, but mostly just if I feel like my skin's not doing too hot, like I'm breaking out a lot, I feel like this just really helps like clean, clear up my pores and get all that gunk out of there, which I know is really disgusting, but basically what it does. Um, it's just been really effective. The next thing I have to talk about is a nail polish. So this is an Essie nail polish. Now on camera it's coming off more white, um, but in reality it's like a baby, baby pink. And it's called Ballet Slippers. Now, um... I've been liking this as an alternative to white because I wore white nail polish recently and I swear to you it looked like I just painted my nails with white out. It was kind of disgusting. So with this, it has the same effect as white where it makes me look tanner than I am, which I'm all for that. I'm super pale. Um, so I've been really liking that fact, but it doesn't look like white out, which is completely awesome because I don't paint my nails with white out and I don't want people to think that. So. I've been liking this. So the next thing is a lip balm and it kind of looks like one of those EOS lip balms but it is not. It's like a knockoff one. It's a, it, the brand's called Revo. I don't know where it's where you can purchase it. I, my aunt got it for me so I'm not 100% sure but it basically is the same as in EOS except this one gives you like a little bit of color payoff. Like Okay, so that didn't really work because I was wearing lip gloss, so it kind of just took it off. But usually it gives your lips like a little bit of a red tint, which is really nice. Kind of like the baby lips usually does, where they like leave a little bit of color while still being moisturizing. So I've been really enjoying this. The next thing, so I have really dry skin. And since I went to California with this month, uh, and I wound up running out of my face cream just before I went. So I was like, okay, I need to buy something. Why don't I need to get it like travel size anyway? So... I picked this up, Nivea Soft um, Face, Body, and Hands Moisturizing Cream. It's just like a little one. It's under three ounces, which is why I purchased it, because you can bring it on a plane. Um, but it smells so good. It literally smells like baby, and you know, like baby powder. I love that scent. I don't know. It's just like, it's great. It's been really moisturizing, helping a lot. It doesn't like break me out or anything, or like clog my pores. It's just all around really been helping out my skin. So the next beauty related item I have is this dry shampoo. I don't know how I lived my life without dry shampoo for so long. I honestly don't know how I survived because I only purchased this month this month because I'm an idiot, all right? So I've seen this a ton recently and it's, I, live, I bought it this month and it's empty. There's literally nothing left in it. I, obviously I'm gonna purchase another one or another brand of dry shampoo i don't know i heard was recommended this brand it is the not your mother's clean free refreshing dry shampoo i think it works great but then again i have nothing to compare it to so it's just it's a dry shampoo so i'm like amazed i'm like wow my hair feels clean without actually being washed and me killing my hair so really it's been great on to fashion favorites Woo! yay all right so first things first i'm a realist just kidding no but actually, so my cousin knows, because I, I, so I went, I told you, I talked about before, I went to California, I went with my cousin, right? So basically the entire time we were there, I wore these because I am obsessed with them. So let me, let me, let me try to see. Okay, the chair's in the way, but basically they're just short overalls and I'm in love with them, like 110 million percent, all right? because they are so cute and so comfortable and oh, they have just been my favorite thing this month. It's fine, it's fine. So, the next fashion items that I've been obsessed with are these bad boys. So, 
recently the whole trend of like flowy pants has been a thing or like flowy shorts because yeah so neither of these are from brandy melville just letting you know because that's where usually everyone gets their flowy shorts but in actuality these are both from jc penny and so the first ones i've been loving are these shorts they're elastic waistband they're flowy they're like pajamas but it's acceptable to wear them in public there's pockets it is great i'm literally so in love with them moving on so i also have these which you can't see fully on the screen unless i like hold them all the way back here so here they are there it's not a skirt it's pants i promise yeah see there's pants so it's pants um they're printed obviously the i mean i know this print is not for everyone because some people don't like to be bold i don't know um but they are the softest things all right it's basically they're like silky and like smooth and elastic waistbands like the other one they're so comfortable wear them in public and no one gets mad at you thinking you're wearing pajama pants everyone's just like wow that girl looks really cute and you're just like i look cute but i'm also super comfortable so it's the best of both worlds all right it is all right so the next thing is so like i said i've said this three times now but i went when i went to california i went to la and san diego and all like around that area and when i was in san diego we stopped in this little hat shop and i found the cutest hat all right so i'm not much of a hat person like usually because i feel like they look really weird on me and like kind of overpower my face but this one, I've been obsessing over. One, two food favorites because I'm a human and I like food quite a bit. I have these. Sorry, they're really, the packaging is really loud. Not everybody likes these. They're not everybody's cup of tea. Personally, I love them so much. Oh my god. All right. So hold on. I'm just going to eat one because, you know. So moving on to more, I mean, the food was random, but like, I also have other random favorites. I have music and TV shows to talk about because I watch TV and listen to music. So I'm gonna start off with TV recently. Well, actually not recently. I've been watching Teen Wolf since the first season because Dylan O'Brien, so attractive. But even though I'm including this as my favorite because Dylan O'Brien's just so hot that I can't not, could, and I've, I've been watching that show so much. Um, the se this season, the plot is not happening. I honestly don't know what's going on. I'm laughing about it and just watch it because there's attractive males and Dylan O'Brien in it. So the other TV show I've been loving this month is Finding Carter. I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but it's a new show on MTV. And basically the story, this, the plot line for this one is actually like kind of scary and sad because what happened is this girl, Carter, when she was three years old, she was abducted. Um and raised by this other woman who she as she growing up she thought was like her mom and believed that they were related like biologically and then when she's 16 she finds out that this person is actually her abductor and her real parents have been looking for her ever since she was abducted they thought she was dead and so it's all about her like reconnecting with her um biological family and like that relationship that she's trying to have with them well, she still doesn't fully understand why, like, her abductor did that and, like, how she could. She was her mom. It's just really good and really interesting. And so I've been definitely loving that show this month. Music. 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 So I'm going to say it again because I don't live in California and California stole my heart. So I'm going to continue to talk about it. Um, also, if you want to see pictures of my trip to California, I'm still posting them on Instagram because I have nothing else to post. And why not, right? So link to that is in the down bar, like down below there. Click on it, follow me. Why not join the party? I what was I talking about? I was talking about okay, so <laughs> sorry, that was too much self promo. It got me distracted. But basically, I, what I was gonna say before that was when I went. So I went to California. I don't live in California. I live in Boston. If you're wondering. Uh, obviously that's, that's not California, that's you know, completely on the other on the other coast. So, I obviously had to take a plane to California, right? So on the plane, I was listening to music, and I was just putting my music on shuffle as one does, right? And I came across this song that I completely forgot about. Obviously, okay, so it's partitioned by Beyonce, 
So when the Beyonce album came out back in November, I was all for that, loved the album completely. So I obsessed over the album when it first came out and I was in love with it, blah, blah, blah. But obviously like sometimes you get six songs, you just, like move on, have your favorites and stuff. But I rediscovered it and re fell in love with it. Oh my God, it's so groovy, it's so good. Oh, the other, the other music stuff I have are two artists are the Vamps and the Bleachers. So I'll talk to the Vamps, um, I think they're from, I don't, I don't know where they're from. They've had, they've had a ton of good songs that I've been completely obsessing over. So definitely go check them out. And the other artist I want to talk about is this band. I, yeah, I think it's a band um, called The Bleachers, where the lead singer of this particular band was a backup singer or like a part of the group Fun. You know, the one that's like sings some nice and all those songs. So he like broke off from them. I don't know if he's still like a part of Fun, but he now has his own album. Um, it's amazing. I recommend listening to Shadow and I Want to Get Better. Those are my two top favorites from the album, but overall it's great. And yeah, so that's basically it for my video here today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I just spit all over myself. That is disgusting. All right. If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up because that means a lot to me and would let me know that I should continue doing this because this is my first video. Whoa, crazy. Yes, I'm. this is the first video on my YouTube channel. So if you could subscribe to that button, subscribe, hit the subscribe button, that'd be fabulous because it would let me know that people are like actually watching my videos and enjoying them and stuff. Links in down bar to my Twitter and Instagram, hit me up. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I will see you all in my next video. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.